Hi everyone, in this interview I speak with Yvette Vera Perez, who is the national team lead for account management at MyTax. We spoke about the new skills required to compete in the future of high-tech manufacturing, how industry academia partnerships enable the sector to digitize and drive tech adoption, and what her call to action is on how Canada can create a more competitive manufacturing sector. I hope you enjoy it. Hi, my name is Yvette Vera Perez, and I am the national team lead for account management at MyTax. I also serve on the board of directors of the Ontario Clean Technologies Industry Association, OCTIA. Hi, Yvette. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. I, I'm really thrilled about this conversation. Uh, just to start, can you please describe MyTax and how it interacts with Canada's manufacturing sector? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Uh, so MyTax is a not-for-profit organization. We're funded by ISAD and uh, by the provincial government. And our mandate is to help drive innovation in Canada. We do this by uh, bringing talent from academia into businesses. We work with uh, startups, SMEs, MEs, not-for-profits to help them address the challenges and opportunities they may have and execute on their vision and innovation roadmaps. One of my tax um, priority sectors is manufacturing, specifically advanced manufacturing. And we work closely with other players in the ecosystem, such as Remap, Engine, and others, to ensure that companies have in the space have access to the talent they need and stay on top of technological advances um, as the industry requires more and more. Well, great. Uh, you mentioned that you deal with a, a lot of companies within the manufacturing space in Canada. Um, through those relationships, how have you seen the manufacturing sector's talent needs evolve, uh, especially with the implementation of advanced manufacturing? And what do you see as the new disciplines or skills uh, that are needed for these companies to compete? Yeah, good questions. So, so, so nowadays, you could argue that the heart of the advanced manufacturing sector is data. So Internet of Things, IoT, artificial intelligence, AI, machine learning, ML, are, have all helped improve manufacturing systems and, 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 and efficiencies of, of processes, right? However, not everybody's there. So we have a, a, lot, a number of manufacturing companies that, that we see are trying to advance their systems and bring the uh, digital advantage to the operations. Uh, they, they, they often come to us, to my DAX, and they say, well, I need AI, I need machine learning, but I, what I first need to do is really to understand my data, to clean my data, and, and then get to, to, to understand what information that data can provide. And that's the first step. In terms of qualifications, of course, digital skills, right? They have become increasingly important in the manufacturing sector. And so all disciplines related to, to, to this, such as data analytics, machine learning, data visualization, computer vision, but also other um, types of skills, such as, um, or, or disciplines are important here too, Manif uh, additive manufacturing, 3D printing, material science, nanotechnologies, and others, uh, other disciplines are also important. And that depends, I guess, obviously on the field um, that that manufacturing uh, operation is, 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 is involved in. So interestingly, too, uh, a lot of the successful manufacturers that we work with, they understand that they don't have all the skills they need in-house. And that's all right. And this is why partnership, uh, partnerships between also SMEs with uh, similar challenges and opportunities um, so that they, their voices are stronger and, and, and they can look at common challenges, again, common opportunities, and also tapping into the uh, academic expertise at universities and colleges makes the road to um, digitalization and Industry 4.0 a lot less daunting for, for these firms. I definitely want to get into those industry academia collaborations. Um, before we do, I want to ask, through your interactions with Canada's manufacturers and when you look at those disciplines that they need to uh, digitize to move towards Industry 4.0. Uh, have you identified any gaps that exist uh, for these Canadian employers in terms of recruiting the skilled workers that they need to compete and to succeed? And I'd like to know what you think has to be done now and by who specifically uh, to close those gaps to allow our advanced manufacturers to compete. 
So in terms of gaps, um, this is a sector that's growing very rapidly, right? Uh, so many key manufacturing roles are staffed by older workers who will be leaving the workforce in the next decade, you say. Um, so, so, so replacing them is a, is a very important human resources problem or dilemma that manufacturers face across the country. At the same time, uh, employers need new employees with data analytics skills, as we were saying, right, to work in a new, more connected environment. So bringing new talent that can learn from those workers uh, with 20, 30 years of experience is, is, is crucial so that that knowledge can be transferred to the new generations. But at the same time, that those uh, people with 20, 30 years of experience who are not yet ready to retire, they can learn from those new employees and then become more fluent in all things digital and 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 uh, and data analytic relate, related. So, so, so a lot of cross uh, training, if you will. Another challenge is that as uh, robotics and connectivity and all these things become more um, ubiquitous to uh, manufacturing and to sharing of data and information among facilities, cybersecurity, it's uh, very high on the list of priorities and gaps currently, and, and, and rightfully so, a concern for, for manufacturers. So it's something that needs to be addressed. And the last thing to, I would say in terms of gaps is that because the industry is being revolutionized as we speak, empl employers really need to recruit people who have really good critical thinking skills, collaboration skills, openness to innovation, capacity to deal with change and be willing to change and embrace change. Now, in terms of what we could do and uh, now and, and, and by who, a few things. Uh, first, in terms of um, industry academic collaboration or being more engaged with academia, this is in, in, in terms of aligning training at uh, post-secondary uh, institutions with the skill required by the industry. Skills are changing, the requirements are changing because the industry is changing very rapidly. So building those partnerships between those in the education system and those uh, in the manufacturing sector. Uh, so a pool approach, if, if, if you will, right? So employers could provide feedback on the quality and on the content of programs, um, education programs, to ensure that the new graduates are more employable. Employers can also provide working integrated learning opportunities to post-secondary students so that they gain experience and they have a better sense of the career opportunities in the manufacturing sector and they get to develop a sense of a passion and, 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 and a sense of, of, of um, interest in the manufacturing sector, right? Um, manufacturing is also, the, the, the needs are often very regional, right? So if the gaps are regional, then work with your local colleges, with your local universities to, to build capacity. And then I, one, one last thing, thing in terms of um, industry academia connections is employers which should definitely embrace retooling uh, through the pursuit of upskilling, reskilling, and micro-credential micro courses for their employees. And this is some, some, a, a point in which MyDAX can assist as well. Uh, we have recognized that there is a need in the system to also requalify or retool existing employees. So, so we have offerings um, around this as well. Now, this is in terms of industry academic collaboration. Um, another important point is to integrate newcomers more effectively in the workforce. Another is to encourage more youth to uh, pursue careers in manufacturing, help develop in them that passion and interest for the sector as well. And, and always keep in mind that organizations like MyDAX can help um, facilitate that dialogue between a diverse group of stakeholders and, 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 and specifically encourage industry to work more closely with post-secondary institutions and um, and in this way, enable manufacturers to, to have access to a steady flow of talent and skilled um, uh, individuals into their operations. Yvette, if we look at industry academia collaborations, which is the heart of what MyTax does, I believe, um, how do you see them improving the manufacturing sector's ability uh, to, to recruit, to, to train, to reskill the talent it needs? basically to, to be competitive in the advanced manufacturing sector. 
A really good question. So, so industry academic collaborations are a really good way to allow employers to test a potential employee at a subsidized price. Um, so this helps employers de-risk the process of hiring and training talent and saves the company a great time of a great amount of time and, and resources. It's not always easy to find the specific talent you need and, 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 and it takes a lot of resources to, to get to find that talent. So we do two things for companies. We help them find the talent they need and we help uh, pay for the stipend or, or salary of, of that talent. Um, industry academic collaborations also help companies um, pursue specific initiatives that may have a finite life. Uh, for example, a company is testing a new approach, a new process, a new product, and they would like to bring skills to develop that initiative. However, the activity will reach an end, and therefore the company wouldn't want to hire a permanent employee for this purpose. So companies would not so my tax companies are not required to hire uh, the interns at the end of the project period for example the fact is that many end up hiring those interns and the reason is that at that point they have had the chance to validate the person's fit for the job the fit of that specific skill within the company going back to the point of perhaps projects uh, or initiatives that have a finite life and also very importantly as well the fit of that person within the culture of the company. Well, Yvette, you've given us so much already, but I want to give you 30 seconds more for your call to action uh, to pitch a, a person or a group uh, that you think has the power to make Canada a leader in advanced manufacturing. Uh, I'd like to know who you would pitch and specifically what you would urge them to do now. So yeah, how about I pitch to our uh, Minister of Innovation, Science and Economic Development, which is also our funder. And this is what I would say. I would say, Minister, Canada has the potential to become a leader in advanced manufacturing by leveraging our strengths in advanced digital technologies and AI. As a nation, we should enable the adoption of advanced manufacturing technologies by designing policies and procurement processes that incentivize manufacturers to adopt adva advanced technologies and increase processes, efficiencies, and productivity. This will help the industry de-risk re the adoption of more innovative technologies that will result in a more competitive manufacturing sector.